Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to take it back to the basics, talking about how to match your shirt, suit, tie, and your pocket square. Now, this is something we've touched upon a couple of years back, to be fair. It's essential to have a foundation of the essentials and the basics, and then you can start building upon your style. Everybody's style is different. So everything I say in this video has to be taken with a pinch of salt, absolutely everything, because it's all subjective. These are my opinions. This is how I feel about style. So in all honesty, take what you like and throw away the rest. I'm not gonna touch too much on color matching today. I feel like that deserves its own video altogether. Now, what we will talk about is how I start combining all the different pieces and why I put them the way I do and why I think it works and how I think you can take this advice and apply it to yourself. First things first is to understand that everybody's style is different. So it's all personal to you and it's all about what you like. That's the first thing. The second thing is it's all about practice. Now, I didn't just land in this position where I know what suit to put with what shirt and what tie and what pocket square. It's all been a matter of trial and error over the years or over the months or where, where, however long my journey has been within suits and tailoring and, and outfits and, and menswear. So it's all a, a learning process. You just put things together and see what works. You stand in front of the mirror, you put your tie together, you put your pocket square together and you see what works. You see what matches the suit, you see what matches the, the shirt. In all honesty, when you're starting on this process, the easiest thing to do is always start with a blank canvas, a white shirt. A white shirt, because pretty much everything goes with a white shirt. So I would always insist on guys that are new into this and, and trying to learn how to match things together. To start with a white shirt, it makes it so much easier for you to go with. I like to go through a simple process myself, to be fair. I select my suit, first of all, the suit that I want to wear. I then pick the shirt. I then pick the tie. And then I finish it off the pocket square. So that's the order I tend to go in. If I was to advise a newbie, I would say go shirt and make it white, then suit, then tie, then pocket square. The only reason I put the shirt first is because it's going to be white. It's going to be white. So that's why I'd say put that first. But to be fair, it could come second, but it's going to be white. The reason why I do it this way is because I feel like my suit is the staple piece of the outfit first and foremost. That's what I tend to go for first. And then secondly, I then look at the suit and think, okay, what goes well with this suit? Can I wear a white shirt of it? More than likely. Can I wear a blue shirt of it? Yes, no. A pink shirt? Yes, no. Striped shirt? Yes, no. And I go through all the different options. And once I've landed on the shirt that I think I really like and I'd want to wear that day, that's the shirt I go with. So let's say, for example, I've selected a green suit today. And I thought to myself, what shirt can go with this? The easiest option for me was a white shirt. Now, in the past, I have worn blue stripes, white and blue stripes, pinstripes, um, a blue shirt. And those are probably the only two other colors I'd possibly go with when it comes to this suit. But more than likely, in all, more than likely, I'd say in 90% of the instances of me wearing this suit, I'd probably go for a white shirt because it's going to be the easiest one to match other things with it. It's already a bright, vibrant color in the green itself. So I don't want to add too much and have too much things going on. So I'll have the green shirt, the green suit, the white shirt, and then straight away I start thinking, what colors match with green? Now for me, I love, I love, I think purple and green go absolutely amazing together. And that's why most of the time when I wear this suit, I tend, it's weird. I need to stop doing it. It's a, it's a habit of mine now that I always reach for the purple tie straight away because I just know it goes. I, I know these two colors gel well together. So I tend to go for the purple tie. Now there's other options. I could have wore my black tie. I could have wore a green tie. But see, then it becomes too much green. So that's why, for me, the green can work in some instances, but I tend not to because it's a bit too much. It's too overbearing on the green, so I won't do the green tie. I could wear a navy tie. A navy goes re quite well. In all honesty, I think most dark colours, dark colours will go well with this suit. And that's that's where I'm sort of trying to steer towards. Because the suit's so loud, I'm trying to pick an accessory or a tie that sort of is a bit more calm and a bit more subdued and is a bit more subtle. So therefore, the outfit just doesn't scream clown. It just says, okay, cool, that's a nice suit. And I like the way you've put that together. However, if I wore this suit, big bright green tie, yellow shirt, it's like, who are you going to entertain today? No, but 
listen, let's get back to the essence. So you pick your tie. And after I've now got the green shirt, the, now, now that I've got the green suit, the white shirt, the purple tie, I now think pocket square. I mentioned dark colors. So what I've done, again, to subdue the look as well, just to bring the look together without it being too loud, I've gone for the navy pocket square. I, like, I just like the way it comes together. I think it's very subtle, but it's very sophisticated. That's the word I'm looking for. It's very sophisticated. The other option I could have went for was the white pocket square. I have a white flat fold or even the white silk pocket square where I put it in like this. Now, I think that goes well with the same tie. The reason why I say a white pocket square is because that is possibly the easiest one to match when you're wearing a white shirt. So that's what makes, this is what makes it very easy to start off with. So when I say you start with a white shirt, you can always wear a white pocket square when you're wearing a white shirt pretty much most of the time you're going to be able to wear a white pocket square so it makes it very easy so the only thing you have to really think about in the beginning is just your tie how do i match this tie to this suit and that's it because your shirt now matches the pocket square what i wouldn't do is match your tie directly very directly with your pocket square so for example if i'm wearing a red tie i'm wearing a red pocket square i wouldn't do it i mean i've done it in the past I've done it in the past, but I, it was like a different texture. So for example, I had a different weave on the tie. So it's a completely different weave, like a knitted tie. And it had a silk smooth pocket square. So it was slightly different. But even then, looking back, when I look at the outfit, I think to myself, would I do that again? Possibly not. That's one of the outfits I probably wouldn't do. So I would say I'd stick with this whole theme of not matching it directly because I just don't think it looks that good. And it almost comes across as if you bought the accessories out of a packet. I've, we've said that in the past, and I'm just rehashing that for those that haven't heard that before. But I wouldn't match your tie directly with the pocket square. I would match it with elements. So for example, if I had a purple tie and then I had a pocket square which was white with purple dots on it, then that would be nice. That would be, oh, that'd be pretty slick. Or if I had, again, um, a navy tie and then again, maybe a white pocket square with a blue rim, a navy blue rim. So things like that, I feel like you can sort of incorporate and match the tie. And, but those come with a little bit of practice, a little bit of skill and pizzazz. I just wouldn't go with the whole box set of, I've got this tie and pocket square in a, in a, in a box set and I'm now going to wear it together. I wouldn't do that. That's the process I would go for. Now, there's a fundamental rule that I tend to stick to. Most of the time. Most of the time. It's only when I'm feeling brave will I push the boat and go past this rule but it's very rare i think i do this i'm i'm trying to find if there's any pictures out there of me doing it not doing it and let me see no look i would stick to three colors and i don't include white in that but i'll stick to three colors in any outfit and i'm not including white as one of the colors so therefore if you look at my outfit today green purple blue three colors i wouldn't add an extra color I, I just think there's too much going on. Once you get to four colors, it's a bit too much. So for example, if I had like a lapel pin that was red or yellow, it's just, it's just too much in my opinion. I feel like it's possible to do it. If you're an expert color matcher where you can match four colors beautifully, then look, do it. But in my opinion, it's easier and much more classier to go with three, in my opinion. So for example, again, when I said I, I could wear a black tie with this, I would possibly go black tie, Black tie, white pocket square. So now again, I've only got two colors that works, but it's still not past the three color barrier. Or I could wear a navy tie. But to be fair, do you know, the interesting thing is, if I wore a black or a navy tie, chances are I'm gonna wear a white pocket square. Most likely. I'm just trying to think of what pocket square I would wear if I had a black or a navy tie. No, it'd be white. I pick white. I feel like it's easier once I've got like um, a bit more vibrant color going on here. Still not light, still not bright, but more vibrant color to match another color here. So I could have wore the white pocket square. I've gone for the navy because I like, I, I prefer it. When I can, I'll wear more colors than, more colors <laughs> than less. I'd rather wear three than two. Do you know what I would do? Funny enough, I said no light colors, but what I would do is I would potentially wear a polka dot sky blue pocket square. I've got one of those. I think that could go well with this actually, because even though it's a light color, it's quite subtle. It's not a vibrant, it's not a vibrant color, like a, a um, like a burnt orange or a, or a yellow. It's not, it's not very, very bright. So I'll, I could wear a polka dot blue 
open collar, maybe, perhaps. It's all experimentation. It's all practice. It's all trying to figure out what works for you. So in all honesty, this is the reason why I preface this video by saying it's all your personal style and you should practice. Just put the looks together. Take time standing in front of the mirror or even just looking at the outfit on the bed and just putting pieces together and seeing what works. Try it on, ask for opinions, see what people think. And I think there you start finding a way and a pattern and a pattern of how you start to put your, your looks together and you start building that experience. So every time you do it, it becomes easier and easier and easier. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment and share. We appreciate every action you take to help build this community. And thank you very much for sending in your questions. Continue to send your questions in to us at ask at mortsandmore.com. And we will be back again next week for another video. See you soon, guys. <laughs>